Well, my dogs <laughs> are uh, Lena Horn and Sammy Davis Jr., and they're both mutts and mostly black. And of course, there's a famous jazz singer named Lena Horn, and so I thought that would be a great joke. And then when we got Sammy, I said, well, we, we have to give him a jazz name too. Sammy. That's a good dog name. Most of the time when I'm on a walk with them, I have a podcast on in my ears. I'd rather listen to an interview with a guitar player or another musician sometimes about their process than listen to their actual music. Oftentimes I'm looking at a song and I'm not thinking about like just how groovy it is or how much I like it. It's like, oh, this would be perfect for that one student. Like they would really enjoy this. Try to figure out what's the next step in the process to help them. And then if you've done it long enough, people say, Oh, so and so wants to take guitar lessons. Oh, well, John Horn, you know, he's the guy that, that gives guitar lessons. Focus on the top notes, but do you see how sometimes you have these low notes, like we were talking about before, that you've got to. Yeah. And then next week we'll put in the low notes, okay? Yeah, but don't feel like you My know. biggest concern as a parent is that my child remains interested and he bit. is interested. You know, he's so friendly, he's so positive, he's adapting it to what Luke's interested in. And that seems like the best way to get a kid interested in music and maintain that interest. Walking dogs, and drinking coffee, and taking naps, and then it's back to music again. I just wanted that's I want to be like, just immerse myself in it. Uh, it's always interesting to deal with different students and different learning styles in the classroom, especially when it's a big group. And I think once people learn to trust me that I'm going to like show them this in a step-by-step -step process and if they practice it, it's not going to be too hard and they're going to get it, then it's usually good. <laughs> like easy to come in there and play like a lot of teachers can be kind of critical and he's not like over very critical but he's helpful he's realistic he's like you can learn a hundred scales you can learn this and this but what it really comes down to is playing something that sounds good and I think that's important that can get lost in the books and the, the theory and everything that it's still music at some point maybe I should write some music down or record some. I've always been uh, hesitant to do a recording because for a long time I didn't really feel like I was ready to or wanted to. I feel like I should do that at some point, but I do feel like my legacy is whoever has learned a guitar from me and is going out in the world and playing the guitar. I'll have a student come back to me and be like, oh, well, I remember that you told us about this one thing and it's always stayed with me. Hopefully, yeah, that's my legacy, I'm sure, is my students. Bye-bye.